and welcome to another episode of the Grim Tales podcast. As you can see, we have a goofy ass picture in the background, and it is on a goofy ass movie. Uh, I, of course, am your host, Gabri, and this is your co host, VC Lawrence. Hello. VC Lawrence. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. That is right. Ho, ho, ho for today. Uh, as you can see, we are uh, donning it up. I'm in this stupid ass. Look at this stupid ass <laughs> shit that I'm wearing. Um, but I wanted to make you sure. Went all out. Yeah. You went all out. So we're gonna. This is the next two episodes. This episode and the next episode after this. You're gonna see because that is the theme for tonight's uh, movies. I guess you would say they are yeah. uh, Christmas horror movies. And uh, this one is a little different. This one is a Christmas horror comedy. That's what I would say. Horror yeah. comedy. Yeah, horror yeah. comedy. Yeah. Um, I would like to say that this movie is on par with, say, the Leprechaun movies. So if you like the Leprechaun movies, you might enjoy this one. And I say that might, you might. Maybe. You might. Might. Right. I I think you'll like it. I, it's it's goofy. If you like goofy shit, oh, it's a great goofy movie. If yeah, if you if okay, here's the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this as we get into this show. Um, I'm probably gonna I'm 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 not gonna be as kind as I would like to be. But here's the thing. I'm gonna be, uh, me, me and him talked about something right before we, we we did this. And um, one of the things we talked about was do we judge this movie as we judge any movie, or do we go into it being fair because it wasn't a it wasn't supposed to be a great movie. Well, we decided we're going to be fair and we're going to judge it like we would judge anything else. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you are looking for a goofy ass, non-serious, really stupid movie, comedy, horror, cool. <laughs> great movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we're not going to judge it on that. We're going to judge it as we would judge any movie that any we do movie, here. Yeah. Yes. And we're yeah, going to ju- wait a second Slay, just in case we haven't mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. I, well, yeah, I got it up. On, it's right above. But yes, that is on oh, Santa yeah. Slay. Uh, and as you can see, this big goofy ass mug is Bill Goldberg, and he's Santa. Um, yep. What more can I say? Fucking Bill Goldberg okay. is Santa. Um, the best Santa I've ever seen, actually, though. You know, I can't go that far. No? Are, are you saying best Santa in a horror movie or best Santa overall? Yeah, no, best Santa in a horror movie. Okay, maybe. Yeah. Because the best Santa I ever seen was, um, oh, what's that name? Of the, um, what's the guy who's married to Angelina Jolie or was married? Uh, Billy Bob Thornton. What was the name okay. of that movie? The comedy movie. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Bad Santa, yeah. And I think they bad did a Santa? sequel that I never seen. Unfortunately, I never seen the sequel. But if you haven't seen it hasn't it's not a horror movie, so that's why we'll never do it here. But if you want to see a really fucked up hilarious Christmas movie, Bad Santa's a great one to it. Bad like Santa. he's he's like he gets drunk, he's fucking hookers, robbing banks, all kinds of stupid shit. <laughs> all the shit all the shit that Santa should be doing. Yeah, absolutely. You know? It's a great all movie. And it's got, and it's got a. Oh, okay, I'm gonna offend some people with it. It's got a little person. I was almost, almost said the wrong word. Um, nope. nope. <laughs> it's got a little person in it, and he's hilarious as hell. The actor who plays him, he's been in a lot of other movies too. I can't remember his name, but he's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Like the whole, the whole movie is hilarious. You gotta give it a go. Um, but again, that's not a horror movie, so it's not one that we're gonna do here on the show. But um, but yeah, that go give that a watch. Um, but yeah, again, this year. You know, I would like to say that I've seen a better horror. I think, I think, I can't remember what I, it was, but there was a Tales mm-hmm. from the Crypt episode long, 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 long time ago that was around Christmas time, and there was about a Santa that was, like, killing this family in the night. It was an episode of... Um, okay. The movie, I, the, the, the other horror Christmas we did, the only one that I actually remember watching, Christmas-oriented, there was a horror. It was, it, was, it, was called, it was called Black Christmas. and I don't think I've seen it, that, that one. Yeah, look it up. That was a cheese ball. Oh my god, that one. <laughs> but I mean, here's I, the I, thing. How s- I'm gonna say this one's better. Well, here's the thing, though. Think about it, right? And this is the reason why I brought it up. And before we decided we're gonna judge this movie fairly, the reason why I brought the topic up was because how serious, how good could this movie have been? I mean, the cast was a, which is weird, right? Because there was a handful of actual, like, not huge actors in this, but not little actors. Um, like Fran Drescher is in it. Uh, all like oh, the, yeah. the guy uh, I have it over. What's the other one from? Um, oh, what's his name? He's a Saturday Night Live actor. He's from uh, 
Night at the Roxbury and shit. Uh, here it is right here. Uh, Chris Kattan. Chris Kattan. He's another big okay. actor. Like, not not huge actor, but he's, he's, he's not a small guy. Um, Bill Goldberg. I mean, whatever. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Robert Culp. He's another one that's been known for other stuff. Uh, Sal uh, Rep- Rabinick, he's known. Uh, Dave Thomas, he's also known. There is a handful of people in this movie that hey, there's, there's a couple of people that I remember seeing in other places. Yeah, yeah no, there, there's quite speaking a lot of. of French, speaking of Fran Drescher, does that woman ever age, man? She is gorgeous. no, she doesn't. She doesn't. Those okay, but here's the thing. My okay, God. all right, you say she's gorgeous, right? And I won't disagree. Gorgeous, she's not. Right. She's not. She's not uh, ugly. But I will tell you one no, thing she's that not ugly. Oh I will God, tell you no. the one thing that bothers the shit out of me. Her voice. Well, no, I was gonna say that. Yeah, no, her ah, voice. Is whatever. I, just, I yeah. can't. I can't do it. I no, can't do if it. If I was to go out with someone like her, she would just be for a show, just to show my homies that I got a <laughs> she, sexy ass bitch. She, she'd be <laughs> yeah. a trophy wife. <laughs> she'd be a trophy wife. Don't ever uh, open your mouth in social events. That's damn. Yeah, that's a no no. I'm just yeah. saying. I'm just saying, people. I didn't say that. That one I'm didn't come playing, from me. Ladies. I'm just <laughs> complaining. <laughs> I can see Don't the hate. hate I can see the hate mail coming yeah. in for that one. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. No, but she she is a great actress. She was the nanny, if I remember right. And she... Uh, the nanny, yeah. And she's also in some new TV show. Or was. I don't know. It's been a couple I years I haven't now. seen her in ages. The last thing I seen her in was and maybe a movie or Wasn't here, she but... the mom... What was that show that... Uh, oh, my God. Uh, uh, Al Bundy. Remember? Uh, what's his real name? Um, no. Oh I know what you're talking God. about. The guy who... Her? The, the guy who played... No, that wasn't her. That wasn't her? Mm-hmm. Sounds just like her, too. I don't know. No. I think it was like some com- um, lady. I think. She's Spanish she's made. Um, she is mainly known for like a lot of comedies and stuff like 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 yeah yeah like and and mainly TV and stuff like that. The last major role that I remember her in was of course the nanny. Um, mm-hmm. She had some other stuff besides that, but she's not like you know, she's not like fucking Emmy award winning or anything like that. Mm, um, no, no, she's she is gorgeous though. There's no real like five star uh like actually it's funny right because the father in the beginning of the movie right and when the movie mm-hmm. first opens up with the christmas uh yes. yes he's from he's from uh uh what's that what's that fucking christmas movie with uh, elf remember elf elf yeah we were talking about that already. Yeah, yeah he was he was the angry dad from that but ironically enough you know the guy who played the pastor uh david no what's his name uh, yeah, robert da- no Culp? no no, no, no. no. Was, uh, it was David. Hold on. It's uh, what's his name? Um, it was Robert Colo. Dave. Dave Thomas. Dave Thomas. That's what Dave it was. Thomas. Yeah. He's. <laughs> if I remember correctly, if I remember, let me make sure. I could be wrong on this, but I'm almost I certain. Think you're right. That is yeah. the. That is the. Fo- that is the. The guy from the North Pole. The like the, the, the one from that same movie. He was the elf. Is it? Yeah. If was I remember. It? If I remember correctly. If I remember correctly, I'm almost certain that was him as well. Uh, he's also in a lot of comedies as well, too. Um, right. But me and you've talked about this, too. Okay, so it's like they had a handful of people in this movie that weren't like A-listers, but weren't like horrible actors either. They've been known for this stuff. Right. Um, but here's my gripe, I'll tell you right off the bat, that I had with this movie. Um, mm-hmm. This movie, I have it written down. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, this movie was... Okay, here's, here's, my, here's my conundrum that I have with this information. I have two okay. separate dates, and I I have I've been led to the belief that this movie came out in theaters. I hope it didn't. I've looked up research that it didn't, but then again, I have two different release dates. The I, uh, release I, to digital, okay? The release to digital was December twentieth, okay. two thousand and five. Okay. Right now, that sounds about right because I mean, it's right before Christmas, right? So that's the digital yeah. release. That's well, not digital, but um. At that time, it wouldn't have been digital. It would, it would have, have been, been DVD. DVD. Yeah, it would have been yeah, DVD. DVD. So, okay. Listen to that right now, right? Okay. That's okay. December 20th, 2005. Okay. The other date that I came across was January 1st, 2004, which is like a, a little mm. less than a year behind. So, I'm not sure okay, if that yeah. means it was in theaters or not. I hope it wasn't. Well, why would they release the movie... In January is a Christmas movie. That I have no, I have, I have no idea, but I, I, I I'm pretty sure they. Re- the 2005 one movie. is the 2005 one is a guaranteed digital release. I do not know That's what the January one is. Yeah, well the but the DVD release in theaters. 
if that would have come out, it would have come out like a month before. They want people to go see it, not the day before Christmas. Well, yeah. I don't think. Well, yeah. my my whole thing. Well, my two thing. My two gripes that I'm about to get into is one. I hope this movie didn't go to theaters. I hope it did <laughs> release. I hope this was a straight to DVD because I could not find the. But I looked. I looked so hard. I looked for online. I looked for the budget of this fucking film, and they just did not want to share that information i could not find the budget for it don't find it no uh so it was I, probably a small studio they hide their you this know, is lionsgate they what they spend lionsgate yeah. home video dude that's not a small studio it's lionsgate that's, that's now small, don't get me yeah. wrong i do know that lionsgate does release um indie movies but they do. a lot of them but i mean it's still lionsgate like what, what the, I, dude i'm like half tempted like this this movie was like twenty thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> well i mean what there was there wasn't much to the movie and you know, graphical in a graphical sense, uh, you know, the well, gore was. That was my other gripe. An MO and that's my other gripe. Okay, I said when we first started that this film felt like the Leprechaun, even production-wise, the the way it looked, mm-hmm. everything. It looked like it was around the yeah. time of the Leprechaun, and all those movies came out in like the '90s and all that other bullshit. Um, yeah, those those cheesy little low-budget films. Yeah, and now if yeah. this movie would have come out at that around that time. Would have been okay with it, right? Because it would have fit. That's like, is it a good movie? No. It's like the Leprechaun. Are they good movies? No. They're they're good for their what they are, right? They're good for what they're trying to be. They're not trying to be serious. They're not trying to be blockbuster movies. They are what they right. are. So that makes they're yeah. they're good for what they are. Are they good movies overall? No. It's like, and I, I said this to you before about like Ernest uh, Ernest movies and stuff. Like Ernest mm-hmm. goes to jail and Ernest goes uh, scared stupid and all that other shit. Were they good movies? No. Were they good to watch though? Yeah. For what well, they see, were. When it, comes down to, when it comes down to the Leprechaun and stuff, I disagree. They were great movies. It was just that they were done in a very, you know, low budget way. No, the, I'm but, not saying no. they were bad movies, but they weren't great. They weren't good movies in the they sense of would I have paid? Would they, I would I went to theaters to see the Leprechaun movies? No. 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 Definitely not. Exactly. That's what I mean by being good because right. like they have to be good to go into theaters. Like they were like straight to DVD type shit. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think I'm almost sure that's what happened with this movie, like a straight to digital type. type but even deal. if that's even that's the thing, this is my gripe with it though. If this movie would have come out when it looked like it came out, I'd have been mm-hmm. like, okay, I'm, fair enough. It, it came out around that. This is a 2005 movie. Yeah, you would think that the production would be a little better, the acting would be a little better. This shit looks like um, it came out in the 90s, but it didn't. It didn't, it, yeah. and it's bad. It's bad. The acting was the acting was terrible. I think the worst actor was Douglas Smith. Which one was Douglas? Kid, uh, Nicholas, oh, Nicholas. oh, Nicholas. Yeah. Oh. I think, <laughs> yeah, he was a pussy, okay? I mean, this, that uh, chick so wanted, there. I'm going to just say right now, through the whole mm-hmm. movie, she wanted to jump his fucking bones. Yeah. And like, he from the just beginning. did not. God. And she was gorgeous. Yeah, was she was. No I, like, I would have not jumped those bones. No, Man. she'd have been like, you, you want to fuck on, you? I'll be like, right under the Christmas tree. Right under that bitch. Right under. And he's like Emily the like, Raven. Emily the Raven. She played Mary. Yeah. And I, I'm gonna be honest with you. In my opinion, she carried the movie. She was a very strong female character. She she literally uh, she carried the alongside of him. You know, they were like the duel. You know, throughout the whole thing. They were the ones you see the most. Carried, yeah. Yeah. She carried them both. I'll. Th- I I do agree. I do agree yeah. that she definitely. She definitely was, and, and that's that's not saying much. I mean, she, she again. We've said this before. Uh, this was a shit shit sandwich, and she ate it proudly. So yeah. I'll give her that. Yeah, she, I think she did good yeah. with what she had, which wasn't much. So she she did with what she, you know. It was good. I, I'll give her that. I'll give her that. She was definitely um, I, definitely the highlight. I, I yeah, she she carried the movie because he even he, <laughs> as much as I love Goldberg and his wrestling role. I mean, even his acting was. No, he's not. Okay, I'll get to that later on. I was gonna say okay. we're gonna do a chronological order, but again, no, he's not a good actor. He's never really no. been known for being a good actor. Not no, every wrestler no. is a good actor. There's only a handful. Like I can tell you right now, out of all the wrestlers that became actors, uh, The Rock, he's a good actor. Dave Bautista, oh, yeah. good actor. Um, fuck. Yeah, don't. Oh, I hope you won't say John Cena. I'm oh. no, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. Ooh. I'm absolutely not. Um, not honestly, Cena, I yeah. think that's about it. Really, like The Rock, 
and, and maybe Batista. back in the old days, you know, may, maybe Hulk Hogan here and there. But it, no, it, but see, that's the thing. Hulk Hogan was exactly what you would expect even in this day. He acted mm-hmm. like the wrestler in all of his shit. It's, it's the same thing movie, Goldberg. Yeah. All everything Goldberg does, he still has to little a little bit of Goldberg has to bleed through yeah. in his roles. Yeah, yeah. But He's Batista doesn't do that shit no more. Movie. Like if anybody, if actually believe it or not, if anybody's making their come up their come up it's, I re- and I hope they continue is um, Dave Batista. Like he's actually making a good name for himself after he did the Guardians of the Galaxy. He's been in a number of other yeah. films, and he's apparently doing a TV show coming up recently of Gears of War because he was in a recent game. Um, it's a Netflix series, a Netflix show that he's doing, and it looks really oh, good. Yeah. yeah. So I, I want to see more Steve Austin places. Like, I, you don't get to see. You're much not going to see anywhere. much. You're not going to see much of him anymore because yeah. of his age. He's he's, no. he's retiring. Maybe. He's, he's not yeah. doing too much. Plus, he's got his podcast and all that other shit, so I get it. Yeah, yeah he's, doing, he's doing good for himself. But yeah. I don't know. See him on- point is, though, my, my point with that is, is most wrestlers cannot transition from wrestling to Hollywood. There's only been a handful of them that have done it. Um, like I said, The Rock did it. He was the one that opened it up for everybody. Yeah, you can be argued that Hulk Hogan did it, but he didn't. Mm-hmm. Like, Hulk Hogan wasn't, he didn't do Hollywood. Hulk Hogan did like small little family flicks and shit he like had that. Thunder and Paradise. Yeah. He had a couple of different things. They were all like they home, they were home value type shit. They weren't like Hollywood. No. Uh, the Rock, on the other hand, did Hollywood. And then, of course, Batista, he's doing Hollywood. So mm-hmm. they're really the only two breakout ones. So it's like to think that, like I said, when we, when we originally were going into this one, the only reason why this movie was picked was because, one, neither one of us had seen it. And we're like, fuck it. Let's check it off the list. Because I've known yeah. of it for a long time. I just was like, I don't want to watch that stupid shit. And now I understand why. But we'll get to that later. So, well, the opening is it, the opening is, is so neat, actually. I think I thought the opening was probably the best part of the movie. Um, so they're, they're all sitting around the table, shitting the shit, right? Shooting the shit. And then Santa Claus just comes down the chimney and she just starts massacring people. Like... And, and, and it's a shame because the, the build-up, in my opinion, was so good. That scene was the best, the beginning scene. And then the, and then the rest of the movie just couldn't do it for me. No, no, it couldn't. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll, yeah. I'll get to it later on in the, um, in, the, in the show. There was a few moments where I got a little bit of a cackle. Um, Definitely. But that's about it. Moments, and that's... there was only one epic kill that I found to be epic. And I'll get to that when. The, I'm, when I'm, that I'm interesting, I'm interesting to hear this one because I got nothing. No? I got nothing. No, not when it comes to epic kills or anything like that. I got nothing. It, it was. A, I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, but it was a cheesy, simple kill. But it it actually worked. It you know it it it, it was the best kill in the entire movie. Besides, what's her name? Fran getting her fucking face burnt and shit. That was pretty cool. Yeah, but even that. Even here's the thing. <laughs> okay. Sick. Here here's 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 the gripe I have with the, the premise of this whole movie had a lot of potential, right? And really, mm-hmm. hear hear me out. Why I say this, right? Okay. So the general idea of this movie is. Um, Santa or Sa- Santa Claus is mm-hmm. not the jolly fat man that we all know, right? So Santa Claus, no, no. he's Satan's son, basically, right. and, and he got tricked. They, they had a, he had him and an angel did a bet, and he lost. And the waiver was the wager was that if he lost, he had to be for an entire what was it? Apparently, How many years? The, Millennium. One thousand years. Yeah. And apparently, you know, one thousand years, and <laughs> apparently the game was called. Courting, C-U-R-L, Corling. I wrote that oh, oh, yeah. It's when we just slide the things, yeah. Game of Basically, into like, the hole. Yeah, and whoever got closest to the hole without falling in wins. But so obviously yes. Santa loses. So he has to become this solly, jo- jolly Saint Nick for the next millennium, basically. Yeah, and um, that's, that's the jolly guy that they all talk. Yeah, about, yeah. The, you know, ho, so ho, ho, now Christmas, this Christmas, movie, yeah. after you, once you get past the, the, the general idea of that story, is... The millennium's over, and this movie's taking place on the Christmas Eve of his mm-hmm. I Can Kill Everybody Again. So basically, okay, yeah. not the greatest of stories, right? Not not. It's not like, oh, my God, this movie deserves an Emmy. But, I mean, okay, cool. You have some playroom there, right? The movie's rated R, right? So you, is, can get away, yeah. you can get away with anything at that point. Well, okay, not anything. I mean, because there is a oh. point where you, can, you, 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 there, you get into the more, uh, what is that, M? M-, M rating. Um, yeah, the mature audience. Yeah. Or whatever. But R-, R lets you get away with a lot. Okay, R does let you get away with a lot. And this movie did not utilize its R rating. No. 
No. It did not. It, I think this movie could have been a PG-13 movie if not for a few things that happened in the movie. You take out you take away the titties towards the center of the movie. If you take out the titties, PG, yeah, yeah. if you take out the yeah. titties, this movie suffered from one thing in my opinion and and it's and, and it should have been the part that it should have been the best at and that was it was it was lacking creative kills it absolutely did not have any creative kills absolutely absolutely it was i don't even that I'm, I'm almost if it didn't have to do with like santa going around killing everybody i wouldn't even huh? call this a horror movie not even a horror comedy movie i would have called no. it a fucking I don't know a stupid Christmas movie, <laughs> like I, it wasn't. It wasn't horror because okay, they not even blood. Like there was literally almost no blood in this. Like I I have bled in my entire life more than this movie had. Mm-hmm. I bled more blood yeah. than this movie had in it. Yeah, yeah. If you would, <laughs> if you to gather all my blood through all my forty years of life, yeah, it yeah, would still be, be more. Pool. Yeah, it would still be yeah. more blood than this movie had in it. It had some, but it was so light. You could have yeah, even been it, cheesy. It, you know what? If this movie had cheesy ass gore in it, I would have applauded it a little more. I, I thought some of the kills could have looked better if they would have just done that stupid splatter of blood yeah. like some of these cheesy movies do and everything. This is Nothing. like the one time I would have appreciated the cheesy splatter. Like, yeah. I would have appreciated it. <laughs> like there was yes. so so little in this. Um, yeah. I don't know. I just. Uh, I, I, no. What did you think? Now moving past the intro because the, the intro was. <laughs> him Probably coming the down the, the chimney, movie. kicking down the yeah. chimney, slaughtering the family. Ho ho yeah. ho! And then the, the movie ho, starts. Ho, ho, sticking out his tongue and shit. Boom. Yeah. But the old fucking lady at the. Den. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, you whore! Like, <laughs> yo, call me retard, call me crazy, but it, 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 she, she was funny. She was funny. I've I don't know. No, I've seen her. Ladies. I've seen her in other shit. She, uh, she is. Who a is little, she? I don't know. I, find, I don't know. I find who she was. No, I don't. I can't. I don't. Can't figure out her name. But I have seen her in other stuff, and she's usually really funny. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that was that I was expected. Know who she is, but that was fun. No, her, she was cool. Like I said, she was cool, and um, I don't know. Like, what was she said? Like, what was it? Fucking. Uh, oh. I don't she know. Looks like the girl calls her a whore and shit. Yeah, no she walks out the door. She said, there, "Merry Christmas, whore. you whore!" Like, yeah. and she's having a fit because them. Well, no, what she okay. Uh, you see, this was too expensive or whatever. Yeah, yeah. See, here's the thing. You can, I can, I can fast forward a little bit because this movie was so fast. It was so short too. It was. It was. Um, the the other scene that she was the only other scene that she was involved in was when she was driving and fucking yeah. Goldberg, Gold Gold Claws, whatever you want to call him. Um. <laughs> He's riding behind her, and fucking she's driving slow, and he's riding behind with his fucking reindeer and shit. And he's like, "Move, bitch, get out my way!" Move, and shit. Move. Yeah. And then he, he fucking ram. Yeah, yeah, he rams her off the road. Yeah. That was what the fuck? Okay, that was no reindeer. That wasn't a reindeer. What the fuck was that? It was a reindeer, but it was the this movie's horror version like, of a reindeer. It was like husky and like big. It kind of looked, looked more like, more like, like an elk, like a like a like an elk. Or something, like an elk or a boar, or something. What was, it, it was, what was uh, the what was the thing that the the old west used to um, bison look like a bison? A bison. Yeah, it looked like a bison. Yeah, that's, that's exactly like a white bison. A white bison, yeah, it looked like a white yeah. bison. But no, they called it a fucking reindeer in this movie. So, uh, so I assume it was meant to be a rain a reindeer. I, I guess I I don't know. But that scene, that scene where he ran her off the fucking road, I'm like, okay, that was a eh, little cackle. Now. Because this all really happened so fast. There's not really much story development. Like, the characters in this movie, they didn't really get to... I don't know. There was not really... Apparently, the old guy... I'll get this. The old guy's the the, the, the grandfather. We'll get to him in a little bit. But the grandfather, mm-hmm. apparently, he's like a nut job. And everybody thinks he's crazy. He's got a bunker in his house and shit. Everybody thinks he's crazy. He has yeah. a bunker, um, and he has a big ass book that tells the story of which, the which, real Christmas. Which we'll get into the, we'll get into the reason why... He knows mm-hmm. so much later on into the film, but um, yeah, we're seeing we learn more about him. Yeah, which we don't, we don't know much of him. No, just that he's an old kook. Yeah. He's an old kook, and he doesn't like Christmas and shit. Yeah. Um, but here's the thing. Okay, so most of this movie very pro- goes like I think if I rem- hold on, let me let me look at my notes real quick. What did I what did I get for um one of the things what real you, quick? Uh, well, we missed a spot. Was remember when um the the, the Goldberg is doing the ho 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 shaking the bell shit in front of the store 
and a hobo tries <laughs> to rob him. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that was such a cheesy freaking kill, but um, but it worked. See, what did I say? That uh, yeah, I, I I did write down that the the family murder scene was was funny, and it was cool. Yeah. It could it, it 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 opened up potential. It could we we had a lot of potential for an okay movie here, but you know. Oh yeah. It it kind of. It kind of dropped it. Um, I understand it correctly. The reason, why, okay, yeah, already we already explained why San is killing in this. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, oh, okay. I will say this because apparently this was something that happened in the scene. I forgot about it. You know the transformer that they had in the ga- in the movie, the gun. Yeah, the little, yeah, the gun. That, that shit made little... me feel old. Yeah, that was like a 1990s. Toy. Yeah, I had one of them. Yeah. Did like, you really? I did. And that's why when I was watching this movie, I didn't know when this movie came out. I was convinced mm-hmm. that this movie came out in the night, like early '90s, right? Like '92 ish. Yeah. What I'm thinking is that the movie somehow the producers thought it'd be a great idea to just make a movie in 2005, but let's place it in the '90s. Maybe that's what he thought. Maybe okay, but here's the, the thing. Whole thing was. I wouldn't yeah. have had a problem with that. It wasn't. It wasn't them trying to place the movie in a year. I, that that doesn't bother me. It was the quality of the film. The quality right. of the film felt like it was made in the 90s, early 90s. It just felt it had that, like, even in 2005, we, we were starting to get HD TVs and shit like that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, no, no. this, yeah, no, this was like old tube the TVs. Was, like yeah, yeah. Even the guys, even the uh, grandpa's bunker was full of, like, these CRT televisions. Yeah, yeah. Which, the okay, again, thing. here's the thing. The, again, that wouldn't bother me if they placed, if this movie's timeline was placed in that era, fine. Mm-hmm. But the actual quality of the movie, like the actual way that the directors and the editors made this film, right. it was like the quality of a person who made it in the 90s and early 90s. Yes, yeah. because you, you look at something like, um, oh, what is that show that I love on, on Netflix? It's placed in the 80s. Um, a Stranger, uh, Stranger Things. Things. Yeah, That's placed in the, in the 80s, 80s, but it's, it's filmed beautifully. Yeah, it's filmed. It, it, like, yeah. It, it, it looks like the actors and everything look like, they, they, they all look like they're from the 80s, and it makes you feel right. like you're watching... The, the 80s, cars, but it's in houses, high def. The interior you know? of the houses, everything. It but, looks but good, it was, though. Yeah. It's good qu- camera quality, good color yeah. quality, good everything. This was not. This was very, no. this very low like budget. It was filmed in the 90s. Yes, ex- exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, what else we got here? I understand. Uh, and then one of the, the the next big scene is when uh, Santa... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that this is when we learn. Okay, so before that, the, you, we meet the pastor, and he's asking for money, of course, for the homeless. And okay, that's where I would. Yeah, that's where yeah. I was going to go into it. <laughs> People, you know, they'll forget the coins. You know, put in the bills. You know, we want the good stuff and everything. Apparently, for the homeless, and then we find out what he's doing with that money. I have notes on this. I have notes on Did this you? part. Yes, I have no because I actually loved the opening scene to that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. When? Go ahead. So. So Pastor gets all the money, right? He's convincing everybody to get the money in the fucking in the in the plates. Don't give me change. Oh, don't don't give the don't give the needy change. Make sure there's bills <laughs> in there, right? Yep. So afterwards, he goes to a titty bar, right? Yes. And yes, he does. That part was like, okay, whatever, sure, whatever. But here's the key points that I loved about this. Okay, um, not only does he use the collection plate money to give it to the door guy and make sure nobody comes in which is great yep. and not only is yep. he using it to give it to the the, the strippers the best yep. part of the whole thing was the bar was called gold diggers home of the <laughs> klondikes okay <laughs> and tonight's guest is tess tickler yes yes i i i yes. i cackled a bit tess Me, tickler shit, yes funny shit yeah. it's the it's the most <laughs> childish shit in the goddamn world but I laughed. I yes. fucking I laughed. Tess Ticular. Ticular. There are yep. other. Tess there are. Ticular. Here's the thing. If you actually look, I don't. I don't have them written down. But if you actually look at the cast and you find the uh-huh. the, the stripper, if you watch the credits, I did this because I watched the, the credits. But if you watch the credits, it'll tell you the names of the other strippers in there too, and their names okay. were hilarious too. And actually, oh, there's God, a scene. Do damn that. it! I didn't. Fuck it! I didn't write this down. There's a scene in the in the film later on where the pastor reads off. The, the names of the fucking strippers and they're hilarious. They're fucking great. <laughs> okay, so so okay, so now we can get to my kill. Okay, all right. So uh, well, to begin, Santa comes down. All right, and he hands the keys over to one of those people that park the fucking uh, valet. 
He gives to the valet, and that, that part was cheesy and funny. He falls off, you know, he falls, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, Reindeer takes off, he, takes him with him. Yeah, yeah. And and then and then he and then Santa Goldberg kills the doorman. By we're, we're gonna call a, him Gold uh, G- Gold Claws or Gold Claws or some shit like Santa Berg, yeah. some shit. And that kill. And again, there was no effort. He wrapped the garland, wasn't it, around? His yeah, neck? he wrapped the garland and choked him out, basically. Yeah. And choked him out. Boo! Come yeah. on. Yeah, come on. You're supposed to. There's no. There was no creative kills. But in the, the scene of the bar, when he kicks, when the man's holding the metal rod. Okay, I did know. Okay. okay. I, I know what you're talking about because I actually did yeah. write a note down. That was probably the most inventive kill in the whole movie. It, that was it. That's yeah. what I was saying. That was the most inventive kill. So he, so the man's holding the metal rod. He kicks it. Oh, it wait, hold on, hold on. To the light bulb. Hold on. Before he, you even go it. into it, before you even go into that. You got to build up to what it is because there's a scene that leads up to that because mm. Goldberg walks into the strip bar. Of course, he's going to I'm, I'm going to I was going to say this later, but I can say it now. This movie was basically a one liner fucking collection. Like it was yeah, one liner after one liner after one liner. Like he walked gold, uh, gold claws or, 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 or mm-hmm. Santa Berg, whatever you want to call him. Um, he walks in the strip bar, and of course, what do you think he's going to say? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> like, I mean, come on. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah. Six up his tongue and shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, but leading up before, as he's beating everybody's ass in the strip bar, he goes up on the, 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 the dancer platform where the, um, yep. where the strip, what? Can you get out where the strippers, yeah. You go, go over there, please. Um, yeah, he goes up there and he scares the girl off, and he goes and he's making. He's like, he's he's about to grab the fucking stripper pole, and he's like, Ugh, like you know, because her pussy's been rubbed and all over it. Yeah, so he cleans it. Yeah, so he cleans it he off and then rips the stripper pole. That's what he kills the guy with. He kills the guy with the yes. stripper pole. Yes. But then he kicks the he fucking he throws the what is it? He throws the stripper pole to the guy, and then kicks it upwards so it slams into the light and then electrocutes the guy. And that, like to him. Yeah, yeah. That that was the only <laughs> inventive kill, creative kill. It was. It was that I could that I could think about throughout the entire. Film. Like, there's a lot of kills in this movie. There's a lot of kills, but they're all just like, man, uh, really, really. For an R-rated movie, they could have gotten away with so much more. And oh, much more. That just wasn't. Again, though. Okay, but I. Okay, here's the thing. Can you go now? Go before I let you out. Go, damn dog. <laughs> Um, this is why I don't like the dog in my studio. Um, as again, like I was saying, um, I figure this movie would have given you at least, uh, like, like this couldn't be a complete bummer for you because this movie mm-hmm. had one of the key elements that you, you desire in a movie. And that was, uh, a, a good, a good amount of scene of titty in it. It was so, through, 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 through the uh, the bar scene, yeah. You yeah, got pretty much the entire titty, titty bar. It's like just titties everywhere, walking around. Yeah. yeah, just titties everywhere and shit. But um, and and, and, and I think in, in that area it was good because it wasn't overdone and it wasn't underdone. It was just right. That's Honestly, the, I would have liked the movie if there was the more. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, maybe. Yeah, just to make the movie a little better, but just to make the movie a little more entertaining. At least I'd be watching something. But this yeah. is like ah, ah, like I just, ah. But I don't know. That, again, I do agree with you. That's when when you said earlier uh, there was a kill scene that was actually good. I, I was like, what? And then I just looked at my... I, I do have that written yeah. down as a note. Yeah, um, yeah was that, was, that, was, that was definitely okay. Yeah, that was actually my next note right when you were saying that. That was actually my next yeah. note. So I did have that one down. Um, what's it say? The, I can't even read my own shit. Oh, oh okay, here we go. So we were past that shit, and then this is where in the film they go into the whole claymation scene explaining what we explained earlier about Santa Claus yeah, being, like, cool. a demon and shit. Yeah, so the kid starts reading the book, and then it goes to, like, a, uh, a neat claymation scene, actually. Ah, cool. that made me feel fucking old, too, because oh, yeah. I remember shit like that. Yeah. Like, God damn it, why'd you have to put that in there? Like, again, if it would have came out in the 90s, I'd have been like, okay, it fit. This movie was 2005. It didn't need that. No, no. There was but, CGI but was, in 2005. Yeah, yeah. You don't see shit like that. No. Nah. And, and it's not. And it's, and it's not that I have anything against claymation, but it was like so badly done claymation. It was. A, it was a part of the movie that was needed, so that so that we understand why Santa is back. You know, doing the, the whole killing thing. That's that's when we learned about the whole game. 
okay, I will say the one thing about the claymation scene that I, I find hilarious, that is when he's sitting there laughing, like in the, in the claymation, it's Goldberg's voice going, ha, ah, ha, ah. yeah, <laughs> like yeah, I it was so- stupid, but I, I I I thought it was funny. <laughs> Yeah, that 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 was cool. that was okay, but like you said, it was uh, cheesy for 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 the time that that movie came out. Um, and then um, on the next scene, this is well, actually, this would probably be one of my favorite scenes. Uh, I wonder <laughs> if it's going to be what I wrote down. I just read what I was about to. What? I, go ahead. Well, it's funny that we were talking because the last uh, episode we were saying he better uh, he better spear somebody, right? Ah, uh, yeah. So now we're. Yeah. yeah. So we're at the deadly now. He goes in and, you know, we're closed, we're closed, and he breaks through kicks, that. What well, the owner's a, saying, we're closed, we're closed. Yeah, kicks in the door, puts the open sign on, you know, yes. typical cheesy shit. Very cheesy shit. And then just out of nowhere, spears them through the meat through the display. Meat display, yeah. Jumps through the meat display and spears them. Like, spears I was like, them. he's going to fucking, I, I, I was like, there it is. There's the yep. fucking spear. Yep. I was waiting for it. Yep. <laughs> And All right. so, so that made me smile a little because that movie needed a spear. If that movie wouldn't have had a spear, that mm, it would have gotten a lower rating at the end that I'm going to give it. I could have went with or without it because, honestly, I hate when wrestlers use their wrestling moves in movies because it Do breaks. You? Yeah, because it breaks the fun. It breaks the immersion. Like, I don't I don't I'm not mm-hmm. watching the movie for Goldberg. I'm watching the movie mm-hmm. as for Bill Goldberg as an actor. An and actor. and that's I what like kills it. that's what kills a lot of wrestlers yeah. in Hollywood is they don't know how to let go of their wrestling character. They bring their he wrestling character you know, into the movies. Even Steve yeah, no, even no. Steve Austin has done it. And yeah. don't get me wrong, he's brought his he's brought you know Stone Cold Steve Austin into his movies, and it's just like I like you, my guy. You, you know, don't get me wrong, I ain't got no problem well, with well, him. What but I've nah. read, I, I've read because a lot of wrestlers actually uh, go off on on and they write about this or they go on different podcasts or whatever. But a lot of them actually say that the producers force them to do that because they want that familiarity between the wrestling character, which kills it because and, there's no place for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I like the scene. The scene was great, but yeah, I mean, but I'm glad it happened. You say you you would have done without it. I could have dealt without it. Yeah, and it, then and it was then not a scene that I needed. Um, and then, but here's the thing: was, there are people like okay, look, look, just just before before we move on forward, just like look mm-hmm. at this, right? You look at people like The Rock. In The Rock's beginning of his Hollywood career, he would do mm-hmm. it all the time. He would always rock bottom yeah. people, and he wasn't really he, he was he was getting bigger. But he, you still looked at him, and he was still going back and forth for wrestling and all that shit. He wasn't the powerhouse yeah. actor that he is now. You would very yeah. rarely see him rock bottom you anybody don't, you now. You don't see that no more. No. no. I remember but like, in the beginning, he definitely would. It no, was he would. Of, um, Even Voyager. in the Scorpion King, he fucking rock bottomed somebody in the desert. Yeah, he, he did that, yeah. Yeah. He did it in Voyager. He was some sort of alien. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, Seven of Nine was fighting. Yeah, I remember in, that. In that episode, yeah, that, that was pretty fr- fucking... That was one of the first times I saw him on any TV outside of wrestling so that was cool um but yeah he did it for a bit but now he doesn't do that anyway he, he doesn't do it because he knows it's not anyway. needed he doesn't need yeah, to relate to that either. character even batista batista is mm-hmm. the same way batista has went on record that he's done with wrestling he's not coming back to wrestling he's going full yeah. on head first into hollywood and bravo bravo to him on that one yeah um but he has very rarely ever used any of his wrestling ability like and in, in all the movies i've watched i've seen him in a dozen movies already now and every mm-hmm. role every time he's been in a movie i've actually enjoyed it i've not hated him in a movie yet um and he has not ever portrayed himself as batista the wrestler he's portrayed himself as dave batista the actor and i, mm-hmm. I i'm okay with that and that's the reason why again his career is success is successful when you got somebody like bill goldberg who basically in everything he does he's goldberg who's next and yeah, he's and that's oh, it. That's man. all he'll ever be. Man, man's washed up now. I mean, even when you watch him wrestling, you you hurt for him. Like he just well, I mean, up. he is fucking old. I mean, he's getting there. Yeah, I mean, he just looks. He's collecting those paydays. That's what it is. I mean, oh yeah. But yeah, go on. You were saying you you were saying about the deli. Well, now we can move on to the deli scene <laughs> after he spears <laughs> the then, guy. And then it was some somewhat of a cool scene. You know, it, it's when he's. Uh, he like stabs them in the neck with the uh, with the Hanukkah thing. Um, I believe it's like I a menorah or something like that. It's the candle yeah. thing. The candle thing, yeah. Now again, okay. Here's okay, okay, okay. But I saw it coming. Is what I'm trying to say. Like, no, uh, I did, but that's not. Yeah. That was not my gripe with that. Believe it or not, my gripe mm-hmm. with it is that he stabbed the guy 
hung okay for one he hung him to the wall with it right he did, okay yeah. sure um but putting that aside he stabbed him through the neck and and pinned him to the wall with a menorah or whatever it is the, the candle thing yeah it, it looked like he scraped his neck with the amount of blood that was coming on was, was on his neck like that shit should have been gushing he should have been spitting it was, out blood it was it no. was unrealistic because that area covers the jugular vein. That yeah. area, the it should have been everything. messy as shit. There should have been blood everywhere. Yeah. Nothing. It was like the perfect yeah. time for them to utilize good blood, and they did not. No, they didn't. And you could tell that in this movie, the blood lack uh, the, was intentional. They did not want. And we were talking about this earlier. I'm just thinking that it had to do with the connection between wrestling and the movie. Which I don't understand because, all right. I would understand that if this was a WWE film, right? It wasn't. But mm -hmm. it wasn't. It was like, again, it was made by Lionsgate or Lionsgate home movies. Um, they could have, like, there are movies that I have watched with really, really, really bad budgets that have mm -hmm. more blood in this. It had than, way more blood yeah. than this. I'm like, thinking because most 80s B movies, dude, most 80s B movies. Oh, had more gore that. and yeah. violence and monster faces and shit. This was like, what? Yeah. Like, no, nothing. You know where all the budget went? I'll tell you right now. I know where the budget went. Where? The fucking bison. I think that's what happened. And, and, and the sky scenes when he's flying around and all that shit. Which, but... again, were very poorly done, but... Again, I guess that was so, their budget. Yeah, that's the budget and, and, and paying, you know, paying the lousy actors. Yeah. But... but... <laughs> Bill Goldberg but, probably made the most out of this, and he, I'm I don't sure. even think he got really paid that much. I'm sure he was the highest paid, though, at least. Now, though, outside of that, right? Outside of that. Okay, before we get into the next part, I'll, I'll go into So, you know, you get that scene where the guy dies, he gets pinned the wall. Cops show up, right? Yes. Yeah, the kid gets bring, brought in. For one, I thought was stupid. Okay, you're a suspect. You're a suspect. You're a suspect. Yeah, the kid just picked up a guy, slammed him up against the wall, and shoved a fucking menorah through his fucking neck. And yeah, yeah okay, whatever, fine, yes, little kid. fine, Go ahead. fine, whatever. Okay, I get it. Um, but looking past that, you get into the scene where he's in the in this fucking police station, and apparently there's like these two cops that are run the place, right? And they're I guess they're I don't I don't know if they're like voting for who's ever going to be in charge. One of them was yes. Officer Bush. And the other one was yep. Officer, was it Dix or Cox? It was Cox. It was so Cox. They okay. went on the Bush and Cox joke. Yeah, it, it landed up 80s. turning. Yeah, it was. It was like it was like fucking five minutes of who do you prefer? Do you prefer yeah. Dix? Bush or I mean, Cox? Or do you, do you prefer Cox or Bush? And the guy's like, uh, personally, I prefer Cox. Don't get me wrong, I like Bush, yes. but Cox, I, like I prefer. Bush. And they go on this for like fucking five minutes. Yes, they do. They fucking do. It was crazy. And, and and mind you, he's he could be potentially be framed for this murder. And he's more worried about a cock and a bush joke. Yeah, which don't get me wrong. <laughs> I mean, I, I appreciate a good stupid dad joke every now and then. But I'm yes, just like, it, it was so fucking out of place. Like, and again, here's the thing. If this would have happened in the 90s, fine. <laughs> but this movie wasn't in the 90s, mind you. This movie was in 2005. We were in a much more edgier time. And this guy's doing like fart jokes and shit, like. And during that same pre uh, jail scene, here's another thing that kills me about movies. I hate when they do this. I hate it today, and I'm gonna hate it tomorrow. Off camera killings. Mm. When he mm. killed all the cops, and you yeah. saw none of it. Yep. Yeah. Fuck! Actually, I hate that shit. I don't even think you you didn't even see the 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 guy the, the the head guy when he walks in. I don't. I'm trying to remember if you see him die. Or does he just walk out and he's dead? Like I don't remember. What head guy? What do you mean? Like the the main the the, the main sheriff guy or whatever. Remember when he walks I, I, in? Like you don't see that you don't see any of the cops no. in the police district die. But remember he walks mm -hmm. into the he walks into the sheriff's office. Remember? I'm trying to. He's think. dressed like the sheriff's I, dressed like Sandy. He's sitting in his office. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to remember oh, how he... Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, I think doesn't Goldberg goes into his fall office and kills him somehow? Yeah, but, but I just can't remember how he dies. I don't know if that happened no, on be, screen. Be, no, it didn't. It was one of those things where he starts the motion to kill him, but then it goes to the... And then he walks out. The, he walks the, out. The, out of, yeah. Dead. And then uh, like, you you know that the, the sheriff just died, and then apparently everybody in the... So, so somehow, somehow, 
Santa walked up in the police department, killed everybody, and the sheriff didn't hear none of it. And you heard none of it. Yep, no gunshots, no nothing. Nothing. Guy comes in there, murders yep. everybody, you don't hear shit. Okay. Yep. Okay. And 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 fucking piss me off because I hate that shit. Stop off camera killings. Absolutely. I'm not I'm not a fan of off camera kill in any in any horror movie. If you're gonna make a fucking horror no. movie, make a horror movie. Yeah. Don't make the suggestive make horror movie. Guns. Make a fucking yeah. horror movie. Like, how hard is that to do? Fuck. Well, that, um, that pissed me off. Now, yeah. though, I will say I did get a little chuckle again. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going to note my my chuckle scenes uh, when they go. They they fast forward to the the family opening their Christmas gift because by this point we're yeah. on Christmas Day, and the kids are all like, "Can I open my fucking gifts now?" Like they're like, literally like, yes. "I want to oh, open. I want to want to." He straight up said, I'm "Like Rude. I want to open my motherfucking gifts right now." And I'm like, "What yes. the fuck?" Okay. Your parents did nothing. Like, yeah, Jimmy, go ahead. Open yeah, it up. Yeah, let's open whatever. it up. Like, and then they, but this is the part. This is the part that I got a little chuckle out of it. They opened their fucking presents and their heads got blown off. Yes, yes. That, that, I, that, that, was, that okay. was a chuckle. I was like, it wasn't great, but okay. it was okay. The fucking kid doesn't have been so damn different. Yeah. If I would have done that shit to my dad, dude, I would have been missing teeth, nose, like, come on, mom, I want to open my motherfucking presents. Like, <laughs> there was no way I would have walked out of that. No. No way. But a fucking no foot way. in your ass? Like, yeah. no. No fucking way, um, but yeah, that that scene I don't know. That scene was notable to me because it may, gave me a chuckle. I will say it yeah. gave me a chuckle. And I, 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 anything that makes me laugh, I guess I can be fair with to a certain degree, right? To a certain yeah. degree. Um, yeah. And that's the thing. Some of the uh, you know one-liners were okay, you know, with Goldberg and everything, and so, and some of the little jokes. The cock and joke was great for me. I, I I laughed throughout that whole scene. I don't know. I'm a baby like that. Like those type of little father jokes or whatever you call them, dad jokes. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. yeah uh, that, there that is only fun. one other scene in this film that made me actually like. I, 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 I all these were little cackles that I had. There was one scene in this movie that we'll get to in a little bit, but there's one scene in this movie. That actually made me pause the movie and get a little laugh out, and then start it. <laughs> it is there. I I I'm not gonna deny it. There was one scene in its whole fucking movie. If you're gonna make a comedy, there's one scene that actually made me stop and get a little. It's the most simplest shit in the world, but I got a I got a cackle out of it, and I did appreciate it. I did appreciate that. But we'll get to that uh, in a little bit here, because now we still have to get into the idea of now the kid believes. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're getting to the part where now Santa, Santa Berg or, or, or Bill, Bill, whatever you want to call him, yeah. um, he steals the sheriff's fucking car and now is chasing down the kid. What's his name? Um, oh, uh, uh, yeah. The, the, the girl and the, the girl and the kid. Um, he's chasing his them name down. His was uh, Douglas Smith and his name was um, Nicholas. Nicholas, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is fucking, come on, Nicholas, really? Yeah. Christmas yeah, right. movie and his name is Nicholas. Ooh, clever, and, 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 clever. And, and her name was Mary. Come yeah, on. yeah, come on. Oh, you're so clever with this director yeah. was a fucking genius. Let me tell you. Yeah, he's fucking best, best, best character namer ever. Ever, like he was just really clever with these fucking names. <laughs> well, the, the strippers' names he was all right with, but other than that, <laughs> um, testular. That uh, test, test, yeah. tickler. Yeah, well, we gonna, we should oh, we should open up a bar and name it that. We really should. Well, see, I would have always, I would have said, but unfortunately, Titty Twisters is already taken. Yeah, so, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Can't do it, sadly. Um, but no, okay, so so we get to that scene where he's chasing him down in the car. He jumps. It's like your classic action scene. He jumps on the back of the car. Raw! I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, he gets shot with a shotgun and falls off the truck. Okay. Yeah. It's really a very lackluster scene. Whatever. He started yeah, Terminator I mean, running after the truck. That was funny. Whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, that was. Um, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, because he, he, stole the, he stole the police car after the prison scene. Yeah, yeah which they don't ever show you that again. That goes off screen. But then, okay, yeah. kid, kid, fun, kid believes that now. Now, kid believes his grandpa about Santa being a fucking killer and shit. So he goes and yep. he wants to get back to the house and and then get his grandpa. Blah 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 blah. So now he gets to the the house. He tells his grandpa, "I'm sorry." Yada yada yada. They go into the fucking. They go the into the dungeon, fucking the bunker. Has, the, the bunker. The bunker. Yeah. yeah. And lo and behold, here comes Santa. He he, he he's there. He he follows him home. Yeah. Predictable. Um. He breaks in, chases him through the house, kicks blah, blah, the fucking blah. kicks well, the fucking that, bunker he, in. 
Before that, he kills a whole bunch of carolers. Okay, okay. I will say this: when he, the, the killing the carolers, that was cool because uh-huh. he drops the he picks the one up and does like yes. a military pr- and drops her on her fucking neck on the mm. steps. That was cool. It was yeah, it was simple. Was- yeah, you heard the neck. Yeah. It fell. You're yeah, like, okay, was- yeah, she dead. Right, you knew she yep. was dead. There were there yep. was no ex- and, again simple kills, but it, it it made sense. It was nice. It was it was it was for for a movie that lacked this. It, it was welcomed. Yeah. Um, so he kills all the carol, carol, carolers and Carolers? comes through the house, chases them down. They escape through another secret door that this old man has fi- like finally did, built. Or <laughs> um, then they get to the back garage or whatever. He's chasing them through the house. They get on um fucking oh, skis, oh, jet, ski the, the snow snow bikes, whatever. Ski. Jet, no, it's yeah, not a jet uh. ski. It's like a the snowmobile, snowmobile. Yeah, um, okay. gets on one of them, and ironically enough, cheesy scene. Oh God, him and him and uh, apparently him and him and uh, the grandpa. They don't explain why yet, but apparently grandpa yep. and Santa Claus know, know each other. other. Okay, yep. okay, cool. Um, of course. Grandpa dies. Okay, Santa yep. kills him. Whatever, he's he's dead. Okay, done. So they take off on their. They have this epic fucking action scene of them riding through the city on this fucking snowmobile. Yeah, that scene was actually pretty damn nice. That was it nice. was cool, it but it was so yeah, it was out cool. of fucking place. Like, yeah, for a movie that was so cheesy. Again, I think that's where some of the budget went. It's like you yeah, son of a bitch. Those, yeah, we you know, some of those fast paced scenes and shit. Yeah. So okay, no. they chase him down. I okay, I do I do like when Santa came down uh and and set the fucking Christmas tree on fire and chased everybody yes. away. That was that was oh cool. Oh my god, and then they were the, the, they were doing some sort of rehearsal or whatever and one of the lead guys goes, like, "Get out of my way, whore." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was the pastor. Christmas that was the pastor. Yeah. He was like, "Get out of my way, you whore." And he's like, "Yeah." Whore. <laughs> he fucks with the Fuck pastor up. through this whole fucking film. Eventually you find yeah. out why, but whatever. Yeah. Um, He's a scumbag, but oh my god, a funny yeah. scumbag. Uh, so whatever he he kidnapped at this point is where he kidnaps the fucking uh, the pastor, puts him in the sleigh mm-hmm. and knocks him out, and he's in there. So now they why they go to a school? I don't. Why did they oh, go to the school? That I'm trying to think. Yeah, when they break in or whatever, and, they, and he couldn't do it. And that's what I mean by she carried the whole damn thing. Like, yeah, she, she just knew what to do. He knew nothing. And yeah, then, yeah. And then they get into the school. And what the fuck did they do in that school? I'm nothing. Blank on that they one. didn't do nothing. They broke nothing. in. They're like, what are we going to do? They ran from him inside the fucking thing. He got a book thrown in his face. Yeah, and, yeah, and that's when we get to the ski rink. That's thing, when right? we get the to the fucking rink hockey thing. rink. Yeah. Or ski hockey rink, whatever. Rink, yeah. it's, it's, it's an ice rink. Yeah. And now we're getting... now. Okay, so so the whole school part was completely pointless. He throw. Mm, this was the cheesiest part in this whole movie. He spits a fucking fireball at him. Yes. And he doesn't even do it. Cl- he's, he's running. Su- Mind you, this is Bill Goldberg, right? This big tank of a man. And he's running yeah. super slow. Like he could easily outrun these these kids. So he's running super yeah. slow. And then they run through a door. He stops in the doorway and goes huh, like that. And a cheesy ass, really low budget fireball comes out and throws him. Like, yeah. Like what? Yeah. So, so that was a dumb, and then we, and then we see the grandpa again. Then we see yes. Then well, yeah. oh, no, okay, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. We have to get to the one part that I actually thought was funny. Okay, the part that actually made me pause this movie. So okay, yeah. So the yeah. kids, the kids are they they fall. They're in a corner in the ice rink, and all of a sudden, good old Santa's on a zamboni. Okay, cool, whatever. So. He's driving the Zamboni. You're like, okay, he's going to run them over. He's going to kill them. This is whatever, right? So the kid somehow finds a bright idea to pull a flashlight out of his pocket and yep. shine it in fucking Santa's eyes. And okay. Santa just fucking hits the brakes on the fucking Zamboni and screams this one line that I had to pause the movie because I just didn't see it coming. And to hear it, it was just like, I don't know. He fucking stops the Zamboni, puts his hands over his eyes as the light's getting shy, and he says, I'm Santa Claus, not fucking Dracula. And... <laughs> yes. Yes. And I, I Another cackled. one line that it was okay. It was. It was It was a lot, but it was the... Uh, that, that one, actually, I had to pause it. It caught me off guard. Mm-hmm. I'm a little ashamed of myself, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, that one caught me off guard. I'm 
I'm I'm Santa Claus, not fucking Dracula. Fucking Dracula, yes. And I laughed, yeah. and I laughed. And then, then we get to Grandpa shows up. Because then that's when he and, stops the fucking Zamboni. And apparently he's some sort of, what, angel or he's something? The angel, his power, yeah, he's the angel. He's the angel from woman. the original Claymation story. He's the angel yep. that originally made uh, Santa uh, stop being evil. He did the bet and everything. Apparently he mm-hmm. gave up his immortality to be mortal. And That's apparently, right, yeah, somehow, bro. somehow, I, I don't get this, okay? I don't get this. Mm-hmm. Somehow, the the guy, the old guy, the grandpa, mm-hmm. gave up his mortality to to, to to protect to do this, but somehow still landed up, he, he's mortal, but he still landed up living a fucking millennium? Is that right. what I'm understanding oh. correctly? Like... What? Yeah, so that that made no sense. Yeah, because if you think about it, when when the deal was made that he couldn't be bad, that was a thousand years. He, that was a years. Be, that was a thousand years before Wait, this was point. It, was that about middle? One thousand. Yeah, yeah, it was one thousand years. years. It was okay. I said millennium. I don't know why I said. Wait, what? So is that millennium? millennium. A millennium? Is it a millennium? No, millennium. A, no, millennium is a hundred years. A hundred years. Century, so it was, or is it a century? century no, a century. I no, I, you know what? I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. It was <laughs> 1,000 years. <laughs> it was 1,000 years. This ain't no fucking educational show. But doesn't, in that scene, because that scene was like weird, doesn't he uh, end up running him over to him and says, oh, a grandpa got run over by a reindeer? Yeah. Yeah, like no, that, that, that. was yeah, that so was earlier. That was earlier when he killed him. It was earlier. Because okay. what it is, because he, he went up to him, he, after, after, the, after the fucking reindeer ran him over, he goes, huh? Grandpa got run over by a reindeer, and then he steps on his That's skull. Right. He steps That's on his right. head afterwards. Yeah, that happened when. Um, yeah, okay, so that was yeah. Way that back was in when the he movie. died. That yeah. was when Grandpa yeah. died. When he um, died. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Whatever. So you find out Grandpa's the angel. He gave up his mortality somehow, even though he was immortal at this point. Not, he lived yeah. a thousand years. Uh, makes no sense. Whatever. So then he 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 bets him to do it again. He bets him to do it again. Um. So. Good yeah, old, the whole game thing again. Yeah, yeah, the whole game thing again. So Goldberg stomps the ice, opens up a hole in the ice, whatever. Fire pits to hell, says, all right, well, if you lose, I can throw you in the hole. Okay. So they do the bet. You think it's going to play out the same way. Goldberg yep. grabs Grandpa, throws him in the hole. Yep. Okay. Yep. Then starts fucking chasing him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then, but, well, okay, my bad. Then he gets shot with a nutcracker. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that stupid nutcracker. Yeah. Yeah. Get shot oh, yeah, with no, the f- a good gift. It's a practical. Gift. Yeah, yeah. Fucking bullshit. Yeah. So get shot with the nutcracker. They go say after they do that, fucking they go to save good old Gramps, and Santa gets on the zamboni and takes off. Right. Okay. Yep. All right. So at this point, at this point, now we failed to mention this while they were riding the fucking snowmobiles through town they went and ra- rode through some hunters whatever mm-hmm. okay yeah oh yeah the indian guy yeah um, yeah native american guy so they their bright idea is now santa's vulnerable because apparently uh christmas in the north pole is over so he's he's vulnerable now or some shit mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he was already shot with a nutcracker yeah he was already shot with a nutcracker and everything so now he's hurt whatever so now there are bright ideas. Hey, let's go get the hunters. Which okay, you just find out that there's a fucking Santa Claus killing everybody, and he's riding a reindeer, and you're just like, cool, let's go shoot him. No, no shock, no whatever, right? Whatever. So whatever, they go there, they find him. They're like, let's go shoot it out of sky. They convince him. It's not even that much of an epic thing. Nope. All of a sudden, the girl, what's her name? As they're shooting, they're fucking. Dude, these are like Mary. repeaters, okay? These are repeater rifles. He's like yeah. way up in the sky, and they're shooting repeaters like they're going to hit this fucking thing. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Um, So then Mary's dad then comes out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. With a fucking bazooka <laughs> and blows Santa <laughs> and out of the sky. Out of the sky. You see chunks of you meat. You see the chunk like of the fuck. Yeah, just everywhere. Yeah. And you're like, okay, Santa's dead. End of the movie. Right? Yep. Uh, the bison was dead. The reindeer was dead. But yeah, not yeah. Fanny. Well, no, Santa was dead. Santa was dead. Santa, remember, got Santa got impaled on the big old uh, American flag. That's right. But ironically enough, it wasn't. That's right. You're right. You're yeah. right. You're right. But this is where the pastor somehow. comes in. <laughs> this is the pastor that he kidnapped earlier. He allowed the pastor to get blown up and die. So they think that. So the so the townspeople think that Santa was. 
that, you know. Yeah. So, so yeah, it was the uh, past of the whole time. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. So that's what the they point. make everybody think. Whatever. Yeah. End of movie, right? Seriously cheesy. Whatever, yep. right? Okay, cool. Um, airport scene was funny. Airport scene. You get into the point where now because his sleigh's destroyed, he has to take it. You know, he has to take a practical plane to the, the plane. North Pole because he got to get back home, right? Dressed like a fucking biker. Yep. Got an actual biker vest on and everything. Everything. Okay. All right. Cool. Oh. Funny and part was. Go ahead. Yes, she she asked some. Uh, so do you have any luggage, right? And he puts a big old Santa sack. Yeah, big old Santa sack. She's like, has your sack been? Has your has your big sack been out of your uh, out of your view the whole, any at any time? And he just looks at her because yes. you know it's but another it's cheesy like, one liner joke. Oh yeah, it's another cheesy. Yeah. Sack. Big Santa, red sack, you know. Yeah, big, si- big yeah. Santa sack. Has your sack been out of your sight at all? Like, got yep. the fuck up. Like, come <laughs> on. Now, Easy. credits roll, end of movie. You literally have the entirety of this fucking movie. It's about maybe, it's not even that long. It's I, I, it's it's like an hour and, tw- what, maybe less than 20 minutes, I think. Yeah, like one one nineteen, one twenty five, some shit I like thought that. it was like 96 minutes. I could be wrong. I don't remember. Um, But yeah. But the way... The way left off, you would think, you know, they would have made Don't, made don't, don't say it. Oh, alive. you said it, you son of a bitch. They <laughs> did They did set you up for a sequel, and you know what? I swear, I yeah. fucking swear, they better not make another fucking movie. I look, they haven't made one yet. That doesn't mean they won't make one, but no, they haven't made one since They that better movie. not. They better not. <laughs> this movie better die in the fucking discount bin, never to be this- seen again. This far out, 2005 and 2022. I, I don't. I don't think they'll continue from. The, if anything, they'll remake that. They'll remake it and then make a two. But they I better not even remake it. That. They leave this fucking movie alone. Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go on record. We rented this movie. Yep. Because it is not available on any. any you have. You have to way. do it on. You have to get it on Amazon, right? So you got to rent it. If I remember correctly, the movie was four dollars. Four dollars. Yeah. I want my four dollars back. Yeah. Three ninety nine plus change, the whole fucking thing. Or whatever. I yeah, want, I, I, I want it all back. Just, this yeah. movie, son of a bitch, fucking S- movie. <laughs> like I said, okay. To be fair, though, to be fair, if this movie, like I said earlier in the film, if this movie would have come out in the, because I have some post, some post notes here, right? Mm-hmm. Um, for a movie that was released in two thousand and fourteen, like five two thousand and five. I mean, 2000, yeah, I said 2004. 2004. Well, originally 2005. It, somehow there's a January 1st, 2004 date. I don't know what that is. But we're going to stick to the DVD. We're going to stick to the DVD release because uh, yeah. I don't know about the other one. So for a movie that came out in December of 2005, um, it should have been better. If it would have come out, if this movie would have come out in the 90s along the Leprechauns and the Ernest movies and the, at the time when these things were relevant, okay. Yeah. All right. I yeah. would have been fair. Fine. Yeah, cheesy. There was a time in the nineties where a bunch of cheesy movies came out, so it would have fit Absolutely. right in that. This would have fit, fit right but no, yeah. no, no, it didn't, and that's why I, I can't, I can't do it. This movie was bad for what it was in the time <laughs> that it came out. Um, if it would have been originally an old movie like I originally thought it was, I would have given it a little more slack. I'm trying to see if there's any other factors in here. Um, We've covered both of everything. I said if you were looking for a cheesy, che- cheesy movie, this is fine. But I wouldn't rent it. Wait for it to. You know what? You guys are watching this now. Know. We're around the holiday season at this point. You know what? I don't even know why this movie. I, I, I think that they. I think this movie goes back to being free in January. I swear they only do that during the holidays, so you can just pay for it because they know someone's going to want to watch. Well, it I'm again. hoping. Or, here's or, the thing. We're we're in the yeah. seasons right now. We're in December, right? Yeah. Um. At the time we're recording, it is only available for for purchase. Hopefully, as yeah. it go, maybe in the next week or so, it'll become it'll be available free. on one of the streaming networks. Watch it then. Yeah. Don't rent this movie. Don't do it. <laughs> and you know what? I'm uh, not. You know what? Either thing. If you want to, fine. I'm not going to sit there and tell. But I'm just. You're fair well, warned. I mean, it is. It is cheap enough. I mean, three ninety nine is not a bad price. But if they here's the thing. If they would have taken the titties out of this movie. This could have been considered, I think, but, but minus the little bit of vulgarity that was in it and the titties. Mm-hmm. If they were to take the vulgarity that was in it and the titties out, this could have been a family movie. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And some some of the words that they used weren't even that, you know, like, what was it, cock? 
you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, those it's are subliminal the, jokes. You know, I, would, like, I could, you could let that shit slide. I um, guess words like motherfucking, like the kids said or whatever. Maybe, maybe that would have been a little offensive. But yeah, it it was a very, fa- it was a family movie without the titties. For it being a Lionsgate, I, I understand that it's Lionsgate home movies. So that means mm-hmm. it's straight to you know straight to DVD. Um, still, I've watched quite a lot. I mean, fuck, wasn't what was what, what are some horror movies? Uh, was it the original Saws? I don't know. No, they weren't. They weren't Lionsgate. I, I don't um, know. They were. I've watched a number horror, of old. But... I've watched a number of horror movies that were because at one point in times, Lionsgate was a big deal when it came to horror movies. They were like the yeah. known people that made horror movies. And you know what? Some of them were really like indie movies, but they were still good. For the time that this movie came out, there was a lot of other really good um, Lionsgate horror movies that were coming out around Lionsgate the same time. They did a lot of fun things. They they had a sub studio. It was called Dead Alive Studios. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, so many fucking great movies came out of that. But that's what I'm saying. Like Lion Lionsgate is known as even their even they're their no, indie department. Known for good movies. Yeah, it, yeah. It, don't get me wrong. They're not all bangers, but for this movie to be released under Lionsgate's fucking umbrella, it's goddamn. Just goddamn! It's just. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Hopefully, next week's movie is a little more enjoyable for you guys. We'll get to that in a little bit here, but yeah, this one we had to get this. We had to check this one off, and as checking it off, we haven't even gotten into the scores yet. But as we check this one off, um, yeah, well, I apologize. <laughs> if you if you were if you were the unlucky people that actually went out and do what we normally do, and you actually went to go rent this movie. To catch to, to be on par with us, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, just know that we you, had you to do the same thing. Which was that? You could have gotten a soda with that. You could have gotten so. You could have done a so really much bad with BJ. That. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. I mean, a really bad BJ would have still been better than this oh, yeah. movie. A really yeah. bad hey, BJ I, by a homeless old think, guy would have been better than this yeah. movie. I think a, a hand job in Philly is like four bucks. So no, you know, say you know, <laughs> fuck it. Um, but just know. You're not I alone. You just know that you're not alone. We were we were victims of this movie too. We had to rent it, so you're not yeah. alone. It wasn't just you. We didn't put you. In, we didn't troll you on this one. We 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 had to watch it too. So um so yeah um that was this movie. But <laughs> with that being said, so, though, quick, go ahead. click like and subscribe because that will help get that four bucks back. Yeah over. right yeah it just <laughs> like <laughs> fucking hit that fuck hit those like subscribe and fucking hit that notification bar because. We, we need it back. Yeah. We need it back. Yep. Um, yep. We're, we're, we're at a loss right now. We're, we're going to make a memorial plaque, and we're going to put it in the yeah. studio of all the names that were affected by this movie. Um, um, but with that said, we have come to the t- part in the show where if you've skipped, uh, I'm, eventually I'm going to put this in, if I haven't already by the time this episode comes out, I'm going to put a little chapter link in the um, episode where you could possibly skip to the ratings if that's what you're just looking for. But we are now officially at the point in the show where we do the reviews. So let me get that on screen real quick. Put it on. Maybe? Maybe. Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. Okay. I think we're good. I think we got everything. Just so you guys know, um, this is not going to stay that way. Um, I actually will be, hopefully by the next show, I will actually have a brand new um, chart for you guys. So I won't have to do this clicking shit. So hopefully only one more show will have to deal with that. But with that said, we are now officially at the point of the uh, at the point of this episode where we uh, we rate this movie. We rate this movie and we, we let you know exactly what we think and we give it our overall uh, scoring and whatnot. Um, if you're into this so far, we do a one through five rating on the um, on the three on the three categories, and we give it a noble pile or a, a seal. Uh, you, you should be familiar with all that. And then after that, we give it a overall rating, and that will be a score from one to ten. And the pile and seal are still in effect. But um, I explained earlier that I talked to good old VC here. Uh, whether or not we should pick the same uh, categories because I didn't know if it was fair to this movie because, I mean, obviously I went into this movie with very low expectations. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to be a great movie, so I didn't know if we if we kept it 
if we were going to keep it fair or not. And we both decided that we were going to judge this movie as we would judge any other movie. Any other movie. Yeah, I mean, because it's... If we were going to judge this movie as a shitty, cheesy movie, it might have gotten a little better. But for, for, for okay, it wouldn't have been, you know, for, for a shitty, cheesy movie, it still wasn't that good. But it still wouldn't have gotten the, the ratings, at least from me. I don't know what VC is going to give. Um, but it would have probably gotten a little better ratings if we weren't going to judge it like any other movie. But we are judging it like we judge anything else on this, on this uh, show. Ugh, on this show. So that is what we're doing here tonight. Um, I just want to get that out of the way so you guys are uh, on the same page of why we are judging it the way we did. Uh, at least on my behalf. But we're like me and VC do not speak of our ratings beforehand. We like to have a uh, we like to have an organic feel with the show. Organic feel, yeah. So so we we don't Absolutely. really talk too much about the films. We talk about very minimal stuff just to prepare, but we do not talk about the shows. It's a very organic thing. So. With that said, we are going to get into the ratings now. Um, and, of course, we have our three ratings. Our three ratings are on story, acting, and gore. Okay, those are our three categories for the night. Uh, we tend to use those ones because those are, you know, fundamental horror ratings. Um, Pretty much. But with that said, we will go off, and as always, we will let VC start it off. And the first scoring from one to five is on story. Story. The story was generic. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was Satan's. What was it? Uh, Satan's son. Satan's son, like Satan, I think it was. Satan's spawn, um, Satan's son, whatever. I don't know, some shit like that. So he has to put his killing dormant for a thousand years. Cheesy. Come on. Um, I'm going to give this one a, a terrible 1.5. Story was. It was generic. It was terrible, really. They could have made a better story and done much better with this. But no, the story was generic. Crap. Okay. So you give it a 1.5, that's what you're saying 1. for the story? 5, yeah, 1.5 for story. Okay. There, there was no thought put into it, in my opinion. I don't... Yeah. That's funny. That's funny that you say that, because I actually will also give it a 1.5. I have it written down there. Okay. Uh, and the reason I give it a 1.5 is the premise of the film, while it was stupid and cheesy, it had potential to be an, a generic film, I guess. The story wasn't like the... By no means was it the worst concept that I had ever come across yeah. um no no but uh but, <laughs> but i think i think some people should have sat down and thought this one over just a little longer yeah, just you know, a little bit just a little to, bit more. you know pre-production and you know come out with you know something else a little better because now it was just very generic Go ahead. it was it was absolutely generic so i give it that 1.5 as you did um so i think we're both equal on that one so moving onwards uh we will go on to acting the acting of the film <laughs> and um, as always, like I said, we'll give it to over to you. And what would your score be? What would your star score be for the acting in this film? I thought that most of the acting was generic as well. I think the best actress might have been Emily, mm -hmm. the girl that played Mary. In my opinion, even Goldberg was terrible. Um, the worst was the kid, Mr. Uh, Nicholas here. Yeah, yeah. Um, Fucking Nicholas. Oh my God, acting! Jesus Christ! Um, I wrote it down, but I'm I'm still double thinking about that. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna bring. Pretty... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bring it. Okay, so I wrote down two. Okay, okay but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a one point five. It was terrible. Okay, so you're gonna give it a grand score of one point five. That's what you're giving 1. for the one point five again. Yeah, for the, I, I, for the yeah, acting. Okay. I, I, at first, I said I'm gonna write down two. I think no, no, fuck it. After discussing, after discussing yeah. this dumpster fire, we've, we've come to... It's the re-talking about and reliving it? Yeah, yeah. No, 1.5. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, I am going to give this a very prestigious score um, of, our, of our rating system here, and I'm going to give the acting the good old noble pile. Whoa! Yeah, that's, that's the first time. Right? No, no, no. Uh, I we I've oh, delivered. No. Um, I have delivered one noble pile on. I scream. can't remember which. Yeah, it was. I think it, it was again. Scream. I yeah. think it was the acting again. I think. I think the acting <laughs> got a fucking noble pile as well. Um, so this is the second noble pile that I will be releasing. So um, yeah, this movie is getting a noble pile for acting. I, I, it was bad. Like it was really yeah. bad. Like. Yeah, Unexcusably was... bad. I'm almost. I hate saying this. I hate saying this because I really didn't think I was going to do this. I thought I was going to go on this one being the trophy, 
But this one might actually be worse. I think it's worse than Scream. I think it's no. definitely. I don't know, man. <laughs> this movie. Okay, you know what? No, you know what? I won't go that far. You know why? Because Scream's acting was so bad that it was insulting. I think this movie wanted to be better than it was, and it was still just mm-hmm. bad. So yeah. maybe can... not. Maybe not worse than. Maybe not worse than fucking uh, Scream. Yeah, but but oh man, it's a scream, fucking runner up. Oh, it's a but fucking runner up. On there. Oh man. No, it's a runner up, definitely. So yeah, acting yeah. noble pile, absolutely. I, I I I'm gladly glad gladly give this one a noble pile. All right, so moving on to the third category of scoring, we are going to the gore meter of this movie. Uh, what would you give the from? What would you give the star rating of the gore in this movie? Mm. The gore, like I said, the beginning, the beginning was semi. No, no, it wasn't gory. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking here. I. This is where I'm going to give my lowest score because I was very, very disappointed with the gore, period. There mm. was no blood, like we mentioned throughout the whole very, show. There was some. There was very little, but it was very like... Very little, very little. It was like you cut your finger blood. Yeah. The the the, the gore was an inventive. It was just regular, run-of-the-mill, cheap movie gore. So I'm going to give it... That's my lowest. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be... I'm going to give it a one. You're going to give it a one? I, I really... Yeah, I'm really gonna be very, very bad. To, uh, I'm gonna really kick this movie in the balls. It, it just, it was, it was terrible for gore. Okay, all right, fair enough, fair enough. So you, you're giving that a one. Um, I, I, I go ahead. The, I was just gonna say that probably the best kill, in my opinion, was the the whole uh, the, the, the stripper pole. The, 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 the stripper pole was fun. That was a good kill, and then the Hanukkah one. That's probably like runner up. Okay. Um. So you get you you're, you're sticking with your one. I'm gonna stick with my one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I, I love I love cheesy movies, but some you you got to do better than that. Come on. I am going to give this movie for its gore rate, the gore meter for this film. I am going to give it a noble pile. <laughs> I am going right. to. I absolutely was insulted by the level of the. This movie is rated R. And the gore yeah. was so PG. Like my daughter, my daughter, like my son could have watched this movie if it didn't have yeah. titties in it. My, I would have let my yeah. son watch this movie. Like That's exactly, like son of a bitch. Like even when Fran Dresh, Fran Drescher's hair got caught on fire. Yeah, it wasn't like, none of the skin was burnt. Like she just had. Nothing. You could see that she had a skull cap on, and some of the hair was missing. But there was no yeah. like burnt skin or anything. It's like son of a bitch. Yeah, the I mean, guy got on, stabbed in the fucking burn, hands. No blood on his hands. He got a fucking chicken bone jammed down his throat. No blood. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and going back to the hair part, when when skin begins to burn, it begins to blister and pop right yeah. away. And none of just that like, was there. Yeah. Just like chicken. You know what I mean? When yeah. you fry it. Nothing. Nothing. There was no... Like they did not try. The, um, even when the guy got stabbed with, in, like, like, with, the, with the fucking... Um, the Hanukkah fucking candle thing. Uh, the I think it was a menorah. Or, I can't remember. I, I'm butchering it. If I am, my apologies. But yeah. um, even then, he got sh- pinned to a fucking wall with this thing, and he there was he no blood. Been like, in, in blood. He, yeah, he should have been. Like the whole fucking. If anything, the 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 whole room was very white and bright, and yeah. like it should have been covered in blood. The gore, been. the gore makeup team should be fired. Absolutely. It really should be. Like oh, yeah. he's gonna get stabbed <laughs> in the neck, and there's no, there's no blood coming out of his mouth. There's no blood coming no. down his neck. There's not even any blood on the candle. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> boo, fucking boo, boo. All yeah. right, boo. boo, 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 ho, 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 boo, boo, boo. Yeah, no, it, it, oh. it, I, it, really throughout the whole film, I felt like the producer just didn't try. He didn't. He didn't try at all. He didn't um, try. Like, but. With that being said, I guess we can get into the bare bones part. Uh, what our uh, what our overall rating is. Now, the way that we do overall ratings is we we don't use a star rating for that. We use a number rating. We go from one to ten in between. Um, and of course, the noble seal. I mean, the noble seal of approval and uh, noble pile is in effect. I will tell you. Mm-hmm. I don't. I'm not going to tell you my score yet, but I will tell you that it's not getting a noble seal of approval. Oh no! 
No, I, it's not getting one over here either. So, <laughs> but with that said, the overall of this movie, right? So the overall mm-hmm. of this movie, what would you give this okay. overall of this movie? This movie, believe it or not, though the gore was terrible, though the story was terrible, because it was so terrible, it kept me wondering what's come. What, what other terrible shit am I gonna have to endure? <laughs> and for <laughs> so it kept my attention going. I'm gonna give the movie an overall of like 2.5. I think that's the lowest I, rating you've given a movie so far in here. Yeah, even it, Scream. It, I don't even Scream. I don't think you gave it that low. I don't remember what I gave it, but. Yeah, I'm not sure. But yeah, this one gets a 2.5. It, it kept me engaged because of the, the lack of everything I wanted to see. The titty scene was good. Um, got a couple titties, you know. That, that's always good for me, at least. And like, But gore and definitely storytelling eh, and, and the acting, eh, 2.5. I stick to 2. that. 2.5, okay. Uh, I, think I, I think I got you in this one. Um, okay. I am going to give this film an overall rating, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, the overall rating from me is a 1.5. And okay. let me let me clarify, it's a 1.5, but the only fucking reason why this movie is not getting a pile, because I thought about it, I really wanted to give this movie a noble pile. I really did. Uh, the only reason why it did not get a noble pile is because there was a few scenes where it made me chuckle, Mm-hmm. Um, the titties were nice. Um, uh, I think that's it, really. A few few scenes fake, of fake, fake titties are always nice. Other thing, t- t- titties, titties, <laughs> titties are okay. They're f- whatever. They were fun to look at, and and then it made me ch- It made me chuckle a little bit. So I could not <laughs> give it an overall. No, I couldn't the, give it, it the noble pile. I couldn't do it. It's funny because even even. <laughs> Even the jokes were, you know, they were so silly and so, you know, dad jokes or whatever. A lot, and of I them. usually it love just, it. I usually yeah, love that, but that would have got a bigger, a bigger uh, score than than the gore. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. What hurts this movie the most is the acting. Well, everything about this movie is bad. Like, yeah. there's nothing really good. The only reason why, like I said, it is not getting a pile. Like, was the acting? Did. Was he? Was the acting worse? Was the acting worse than Scream? No. But the movie, no, the no. overall movie, in no. every aspect, was definitely worse than Scream. Give like, us the budget, whatever budget they use for this movie. Give it to me and you. Put us one hundred percent in charge of the story, and, and we would come out with a banger. There's absolutely. so many ideas absolutely. that I have in my head already that could have gone, that would have done wonders for this movie. Absolutely. So that's why I said to go on to go on record. Like I said, the only reason this movie is not getting a pile it is going to get the 1.5 the only reason it's not getting a pile and it's getting a 1.5 out of 10 is because of the fact that it made me chuckle a little bit and the titties were nice for a moment other than that and, and let's it. be honest even though his acting was terrible it's always fun to see bill Goldberg. come on you know i, I was a big fan of bill Goldberg growing up so. i was i was a fan of bill goldberg the wrestler when i was a kid <laughs> And then I got older, and then I got tired of seeing his big ass. Like, well, I'm definitely tired of him now because they just they just try to use him for. for he's a money grab now. They well, yeah, bring a man when they need. Yeah, he's a money grab now, but uh, I could I, I could do excited. without it. I could do without it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I knew I'm, this movie was going to be cheesy, but the fact that he was in it made me go into it with some good, you know, with some better hopes. And the fact that he was oh, in you, it was you went in definitely. with more hopes than me. But I'm gonna take this yeah. chart off screen real quick if you want to say anything while I'm doing that. Yeah, I mean, just the fact that he was in it made the movie, you know, what it. That's why I gave it the two point five overall. I, I think you, you you took his celebrity out of that movie and put a uh, just another generic Santa Claus that would have gotten a, a, a lesser a lesser score. Mm. Unless that Santa Claus would have been amazing, but I, I highly doubt it. I'm trying to think who I don't, I don't. That's the thing. I don't think I don't think anyone in their right fucking mind would have taken this role. Well, like, I was actually going to say that I think this movie itself was some money grab. They knew that if they put Goldberg in this movie, they could make a cheesy ass movie, and somebody was still going to buy this movie. They knew that. Well, see, that's the thing. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I. I'd love to sit here and tell you that if someone offered me money, I would. I wouldn't do this movie, but. I'm greedy, so I probably would have done the role too. I was gonna say, as broke as I am right now, like, throw me whatever role, man. Make me the you know, like, do you, in the movie. Do you want to be the it. cheesy ass Santa that goes around killing people? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. It's yeah, gonna be. Not? It's gonna be a really horrible movie. You sure? Yeah, yeah. sure. Let's go. Let's do yep. that. 
Let, let's do that. Fuck it. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'd like to sit here and be so righteous to tell you no, that, no, I wouldn't do it, but I can't. I, I'm trying to think back. In 2005, was he, he was huge, obviously, to get a role. But oh, he was I'm, a big I'm, fucking deal because, I mean, at that yeah. time, either the WCW had just went down and Vince had bought everything up and he had just made his debut around, I think, around that time, if I'm correct. Yeah. Because so it, it was around that whole Brock Lesnar thing. I'm trying to remember. It's been years since I did watch this shit. Yeah. But I, I think he was, was a big the, deal. The, he was at that point where he was big already, so obviously they wanted to put put him in a movie. But I don't think he had enough money to turn down this type of role at that time. No, yet. no. This, this yeah. is Lionsgate movie. They they probably yeah. gave him a nice little chunk of money, and he's like, yep. sure. All you got to say is ho 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 and a couple one liners, couple one liners, and, and just and just do some wrestling moves and kill people violently and boom, not gory, okay. but just violently. Because he, did, I will say, he did kill people violently, just no oh, blood. That- well, any killing is violent, but I mean, like... <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that last movie we did, there was some really weak-ass kill scenes in it, so... True, true. But, I mean, they were violent, but not not gory. No, they, they, right. they would have definitely benefited from... If you're going to put violence in it, if you're... Here's my thing, right? Not every horror movie needs gore, right? And we and you've seen mm. that in the one movie yes. that we did, uh, Old, right? We didn't have a gore yes. meter in that, okay? Even though that movie did not get a great review for me and M. Night Shyamalan can lick my whole asshole, mm. um, it still didn't need gore, right? So there are movies, and we're going to watch no, other movies on movies. here that don't need it. There this are movie needed it. The story is told just right. You don't, you don't even need gore. But the thing is, this you know? movie needed it. It needed it. It needed it. Fucking needed it. Needed so much of it. It would have yeah. probably if there was gore in this movie, I would have given it a better score. It, I wanted more violent death scenes or inventive ones too. Like everything was generic. It was generic. nothing new. Like oh, you're gonna kill him with a menorah. Oh, maybe that was. Maybe that one was maybe the most <laughs> in- innovative one. That no, was like the no. only one. The best one for me, if if I had to sit there and say kill was scene, the pole. was the stripper mm-hmm. pole one. Getting killed with yeah. the stripper pole. That was yep. like, okay, cool. You electrocuted him to death after throwing a fucking... Okay, cool. Whatever. But the rest of it, no. 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 I just... I I, I, I will say out of all so far, right? And I've, I've seen some stinkers. I've seen some mm-hmm. stinkers. And again, Scream was, was a horrible movie. Um, Terrible. Horrible movie. Um, if we're judging it overall... As well as I said before, there was production parts of that of the screen movie that weren't bad. That's the reason mm-hmm. why I think I, I can't remember the exact score. I'm gonna have to start writing scores that I did for other movies down. Um, but I know I didn't give that movie as much of a low rating as I gave this one. Overall, this movie is absolutely not the acting. Believe it or not, the acting in this movie is 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 a little better than Scream was, it's right? Great. Oh yeah, which isn't really going very far. But the overall, this movie definitely is the worst one. So far, yeah, I think it's so, so far the two movies that I bl- that I that I really love out of our our entire series is Hellraiser and X. Yeah, those two movies, absolutely. Were Hellraiser and X were brilliant, amazing, brilliant movies. The other ones, yeah, the other ones were hit and miss. Like I said, you know, the the taking of Deborah Logan was okay. Uh, Halloween Ends was okay. Um, Malignant, well, we we you've seen that. I wasn't a big fan of that. Um, <laughs> old, oh. Uh, scream! Uh, yeah. We're only on episode. This is only episode eight, so we got plenty more. We got plenty more. Oh yeah, we're, oh, we're, we're not we're, done. No, we're not done. You, you, we're, we're only in December, guys. We got plenty more to go. Um, so hopefully, we have some more better quality. Like I said, we have to. We had to do a few Christmas ones. Like I said, next next episode, which will release on the f- next Friday from this one. Um, yeah. That one will be on uh, Red Snow. Red Snow. Red Snow. Um, if I remember correctly, because I don't want to give too much away. I, if I remember correctly, it's the a vampire Christmas movie. It is a vampire Christmas movie. And if you want to watch it so you can join us. Uh, we I found it on Prime Video. Yeah, it is on Prime Video. Uh, free Prime with ads, Video, I believe. With, with ads, unfortunately. I think... I think you have to get like their next tier or whatever, some crap like that, which I'm not even gonna bother. I'm gonna just watch. I the already got Prime it. Video. Fucking, yeah. I'm cool. Um, I'll just yeah. watch the movie. I'm not worried about it. 
Um, but yeah, if you like, he, like he said, if you do want to join us, as always, we like to give you the movie that's going to come out next. We don't like to release too much information about other episodes because we don't want you getting into ahead of yourself. But the next episode will be Red Snow, and that is our last Christmas horror movie that we will do until the next until time next we're Christmas. yeah until the next time we're forced to do this shit. Um, We'll do, we're we're going to try to hit other theme ones too because we like to stick with oh, some yeah. tradition here. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, uh, it, well, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, but yeah. All in all, like I said, if you want to watch that, like I said, get in there, um, watch Red Snow, and you because as as we've said on past episodes, this is not a strict review show, so we're not sitting here just giving you a rating and going on. This is a discussion based show. So yes. yes. We want to so make sure you, that you yeah, can you're join. You're going to get spoilers and everything. Yes. Oh, and spoilers. also, where 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 can they exactly go to? Like, if they want to join us, where can they? The recording. Yeah, oh, in the chat. In the, in the chat. In the in the right there on the YouTube. You can you can either do one of two things. You can I would we, we definitely want you to sound off in the comments. Uh, oh, yeah. On on the YouTube, of course, always always do that, right? Uh, also, other than that, you can go in the Discord. The Discord is a fun and and an interesting place to view voice. Your opinions on this show, past shows, and everything else that happens. And that can be found, as always, right here, guys. Right there, that oh, URL. Man. That URL is uh, link, link TR. No, what is it? Um, fuck, let me read it real quick. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, okay. I always forget how they do it because it's not your typical URL. It is linktr.ee forward slash noble underscore GI. That is linktr dot ee forward slash noble underscore gi and you will find all things noble and noble affiliated inside that link okay that is uh the youtube page the twitch twitch page the instagram page the twitter page the um i always fucking forget this one uh the uh come on come on come on tiktok there you go the tiktok page the facebook page and anything else that we add this noble noble uh, content and of course there is noble affiliation so you will find synth pop radio and things of vng network related so yeah. get in you that link an eye on it because i have other projects that i have to send them and everything so there's going to be a couple of things in there there's gonna be yeah. a lot of it so right there guys that right there that link get in it Get in, especially the Discord. I've voiced this so many times, and I will continue voicing it because it's so important. Get in the Discord. The Discord is very important. We need to talk, guys. We need to communicate. This is how we know how to better do this shit for you, the viewer. Um, so remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bar, bell, fuck. Um, hit it, okay? Bing, bing, hit that motherfucker uh, so you can like, be notified whenever we do new shit. Thing. Yeah, just... Yeah, give, give give that bell more gore than we got with this movie. Fucking right, uh, murder, I wanna, I wanna murder, blood. murder, murder that fucking bell. bell. Okay, mm. hit that shit like you're slamming your fucking your your girlfriend. Just slam it's that shit. Not fuck right. it up. Okay. Um. But yeah, give hopefully, bell. hopefully you guys uh, at least enjoyed what we did tonight for you guys, and it was an entertaining show from us at least. Um. Like I said, if you thought the movie was garbage, so did we. Um. So it is what it is. But hey, if you like this movie, that doesn't mean we don't disagree with you. I mean, we don't like it, but that doesn't mean. Tell us in the chat. Tell us in the comments down below and also tell us in Discord and Facebook and everywhere else. Let us know yeah, that you us. like the movie and we're assholes for not liking it. That's fine. Exactly. That's tell fine. Us you disagree. I want to yeah. know. Tell me what you know liked what about this movie because we love diversity mm -hmm. here, okay? We love we love to know how things are. It's not just our opinions that matter. We just do this show because we love horror movies and we love talking about them. And we love talking we love talking about them with you guys. Okay? So, so let's talk. Let's talk. Um, but yeah, like I said, next episode, um, next next episode that is released, that will be episode nine on the following Friday from here. Uh, that one will be on Red Snow. It is a vampire Christmas movie. Um, that will be our last Christmas movie for the season, because um, we're not, we don't have no reason, because that will, you know, obviously that'll be a couple days before Christmas, so we have no reason to do any more of this shit, and I don't have to wear this shit. Um, hopefully, this and I'm is entertaining. Better than this movie. What is it? I'm hoping it's better than the movie we just reviewed. Oh, I fucking hope so too. Jesus Christ. 
Um, but like I said, with that said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the show. Hopefully we've entertained you. Like, of course, get to that URL, get in there, join all the shit that's in there. Enjoy that content. Like, follow, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell here on the YouTube channel uh, and anywhere else you're, you're, you're fucking listening to this because we're, we, we're probably going to have other platforms at some point. Some, some uh, audio platforms we'll, we'll probably have. So remember to keep an eye on that. That's what that link is for, and that's what the Discord, you'll, you'll be notified of everything. But with that said, do you have any parting words for the good old audience? Only one word, and that's peace. 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 So with that said, you heard it here. Hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Come join us next Friday for Red Snow. Until then, keep it spooky, people, and we will see you when we see you. Mm-hmm.